What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about DC versus Marvel. Uh, in my opinion, it's not really a competition at this point. Marvel is totally destroying DC. The MCU is a thousand times better than DCEU. That has been proven. Uh, the only good movie from DC was really Wonder Woman. You know, the other movies were okay. Some people hate them. I thought they were okay. But Wonder Woman was, in my opinion, the best. And this is not the first time that DC and Marvel has been going head to head. Obviously, in the comic books, they've been doing it for years. There was actually a crossover comic book that had all the DC heroes fighting against the Marvel heroes. I actually read that comic book. It was really good. But... Anyway, at this point in time, as far as the cinematic universe, Marvel is destroying DC. So what's next? Definitely DC needs to do something different. And I propose a standalone standalone movie for Vixen. Vixen, if you don't know about Vixen, is a strong black superhero character. Her powers consist of the ability to use the energy source from any animal. So she can have those abilities, whether it's the strength of a gorilla or elephant or the speed of a cheetah or the ability to fly like a bird. Very, very powerful, very strong character. And for Marvel, hey, why not do Storm? You see the success of Black Panther. Why not do a Storm movie? And if not a movie, a Netflix show. On Netflix, you have the ability to really go into the background story of Storm and people who may know Storm may find new things, new elements to her story and her character that they didn't know about. But either way, I would be happy. Storm in a movie or Storm on Netflix. Hey, I'm getting a great show or a great movie either way. But Vixen definitely should be in a DCEU movie. Yo, I mean, come on. You have... Wonder Woman, who was the best movie and a success. You have Wonder Woman and Black Panther showing that you don't need a white male superhero as the lead role to make money. So with that being said, Vixen fits both of those categories. She's a black woman, she's a woman, and she has incredible powers. The good thing about Storm and Vixen is they both have strong connections to male characters that people love, which can make cameos or guest appearances on, you know, if it's a Netflix show, probably not. But if it's a movie for Storm, you definitely will see Black Panther or T'Challa probably in that movie. And if you don't notice, they actually were married in the comics. So having chat with Bozeman, make a guest appearance in the movie will be great. Um, as far as Vixen, her connection is the Green Lantern. Now, I would love to see uh, Edris Alba, but I don't know if there's a contract that says he can't do a DC movie with Warner. I don't know. He's currently in the Thor series, so I don't know if that would be possible, but that would be my first choice. But if that can't happen, my second choice would definitely be uh, Kofi Cerebo. I hope I'm saying that guy's name right. He's a great actor, but Kofi Cerebo, he played in movies such as Girls Trip, and he's on the show Queen Sugar. His character, Raphael Angel, uh, I like that character. He's a great actor. So him taking the mantle of Green Lantern, that would be incredible. I would love to see that. And, you know, talking about Vixen and Storm, you're talking about a fan base that is incredible, like huge. And you see more and more women getting into comics and these movies. So why not take advantage of that? You know, go full steam ahead and make a movie that both men, women, children, we all can enjoy. And women and children will have the ability to see a strong female character 
on the big screen. That would be that would be amazing. Now, as far as Storm, people are obviously going to say, "Oh, Halle Berry, or the girl uh, Alexandra Ship, who played Storm in Age of Apocalypse." But uh, in my opinion, they should just do a complete reboot and just go full steam ahead with a new actress to take the mantle of Storm. Nothing against Halle Berry, nothing against Alexandra, but, you know, in my opinion, just doing a completely new actress that can have a new spin would be amazing to me. And I know Legends of Tomorrow, the show on DC, I think they have the girl uh, Macy Richardson Sellers. Hope I'm not butchering her name. Uh, I mean, she's doing a good job, but we both know, we all know, DC is going to recast somebody totally different if they did a, a Vixen movie. The same way they recast The Flash for the DC Cinematic Universe. They want to keep those things separate, the TV shows from the, the movie. So I know that's going to happen if they did do a Vixen movie. But this is my list of actresses that I would like to see take the roles. You know, first and foremost, you know, sorry, Halle Berry, but I would kind of put an X. Sorry, uh, Alexandra Ship, but got to put the X. My first choice would be Tessa Thompson as Vixen. Now, I know Tessa Thompson, again, is in the Marvel Universe. She's uh, in the Thor Ragnarok series. Um but she's a great actress, and if there's no contract that would prevent her from doing a Warner Brothers DC movie, I would love to see her as Vixen. Now, Janelle Monet has proven herself to be a good actress as well. She was in Hidden Figures. She was in Moonlight. She did an incredible job in both of those movies, and she's a beautiful woman, strong black woman. I think she would do a good job as Storm or Vixen, either, either one, you know. I would pay to see it. Now, some people might laugh, but I'm seriously saying that Willow Smith would be a great vixen to me. You know, she's young, she's energetic, she's talented, and her father's Will Smith, which, by the way, is dead, uh, dead shot. So, hey, that's the DC Universe. Dead shot was in Suicide Squad. Um, wouldn't that be interesting? That would be definitely interesting. So I think she would do a good job as well. Now, not too many people may have heard of this actress. Her name is Yaya De Costa, but I think she would do an incredible job as Storm or Vixen. You know, Yaya was in In Time, the movie with Justin Timberlake, and she was also in The Nice Guys. So she has shown her ability to be a good actress, and I think she would do an incredible job. Um, the next one on my list would be Dandy Newton. Now, Dandy Newton could be either Vixen or Storm. You know, she's an incredible actress, amazing. She was in Mission Impossible 2, Rock and Roller. She's shown an ability to do physical work. So I think she would be great, either character, Storm or Vixen. And the next one on my list Again, people are going to say, ah, you can't do this because she's already in the MCU, but Zoe Saldana. Now, she's already Gamora in Galaxies of the Galaxy, a uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. But again, if there's no contract that stipulates that she can't do a Warner Brothers movie in the DC universe, then why not? She could do Vixen. I mean, she obviously can't be Storm, but she can do Vixen. She can be Vixen. And I think she would do a great job. I mean, physically demanding Guardians of the Galaxy, she's shown that. Star Trek, she's shown that. Columbiana, she's shown that. So I think she would be a great Vixen. Now, in my opinion, this is my list. If you have a different list, Feel free to make a video, leave a comment, let me know why you feel like that actress could be uh, a great vixen or storm, or even a uh, Green Lantern. If you feel like another actor could be a better Green Lantern, hey, leave a comment, let's talk about it. But 
this is my list and these are my reasons why I feel like there has to be, especially for the DCEU, there has to be a Vixen movie. And Marvel, hey, you will be shooting yourself in the foot if you did not do a Storm movie or at least a Storm series on Netflix. Hey, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, but I definitely want to see these movies. I definitely feel like they deserve to be on the big screen. Their stories deserve to be heard and seen. And that's just my opinion. I love you.